Hi everyone! Ah, uh, happy Thursday! <laughs> I think the washing machine's just calmed down now. It does tend to sound a little bit like a jumbo jet taking off or Concorde when it used to be around. It's very noisy. Well, I've not got a lot to show you really. I have been out today. Had to go out to get my bucket load of medications. <laughs> I'm kept alive by pills. <laughs> um, I'm feeling a heck of a lot better. Thank you all for asking. Um, the aches wearing off now. You know where the injection site was. Well, the injections, because I've already put about three in. And um, the pain, as you can tell <laughs> by my stupid face, um, is a lot better. Yeah. In case you're wondering what's happening with my hair, I had decided to let it grow out to see if I would grow all gracefully and be lovely and grey. But as you can see, no sign of growing all gracefully, it's still brown, much to my dismay. The reason I'm growing it out is not because I'm fed up with a blonde, I love being blonde. Um, it's just that um, I've over bleached it so long and so often that it's gone a bit dead on the end so I was trying to give it a break because it's actually snapping off, you know, due to misuse <laughs> of the old colour. <laughs> I mean, I've been blonde now for about, what, 15 years so I hadn't seen my natural colour for quite some time so I was hoping it would be like the side bits and it would be silver. But no. No such luck. <laughs> well, if you want to know what I'm wearing, I actually did find the pattern because I know most people say, ooh. Yeah. Oh, somebody did find a pattern that was very similar to the one that I was crocheting, you know, in all the multicolours. Um, sorry, I've not looked up your name. But he did, that's in Chunky. And um, I found a couple of sweaters that are, like, top down. And I found another video pattern that starts off the same way, but then it changes into like a shell pattern underneath. Uh, I will put the links, uh, the link that, you know, I do apologise, I haven't looked up your name, that she gave me the link for, um, if you want to do something similar but in chunking it, you know, thicken it. And I will put the links to the uh, videos for the others that I've found. Uh, I haven't found one that's exactly the same as the one um, that I've done. But as I said, I can't, for the life of me, I can't tell you. Because I'd be breaking all the copyright rules. Because it's still very much around, but it's uh, a video. Right, as for what I am wearing, it's in a book called Crochet Gifts, which I've had for a very long time. It's by Kim Work. Workner, or work, yeah, workner, not whether you can see it or not. Kim. And it is called Mesh Trellis Cardigan. That's the one, but as you can see, I have not put the frilly bits around the sleeves. Because I'm not a frilly sleeve person. So that's what I, it is, that's the back view. You can do it with frilly sleeves or not. So mine, of course, is wound up with the three-quarter sleeve because I didn't put the frilly bits on the end. On hindsight, I should have made the sleeves a little bit longer, but hey-ho. It's done in some kind of a cotton. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't an ice cotton or anything like that. I think it was either a Peyton's or a Jaeger. And um, the buttons were gifted to me. They came from America, and the necklace I'm wearing is actually um, Grace GB Maltese. Her sister made this for me, so it's very pretty, and it goes with my top. Well, apart from going out to get my uh, bag full of pills, medication, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's all to do with my blood pressure and my diabetes and everything else, no to man. So I have to go and get that. And so apart from that, I haven't really done an awful lot. I'm still doing my bags 
uh, I still need to um, find um, some lace. I've still got to go upstairs to find some lace for the other bags. But I've managed to do the smaller bags. They're not lined yet because I haven't um, gone to the sewing machine as yet, which I'm hoping to do over the weekend because I'm feeling so much better now. So as we said before, this is a paid for pattern. San Francisco Collection Girls Purse. That's the one. This is paid for, but there are now quite a lot of patterns on Ravelry that are free. Anyway, apart from this one is not stitched together. It's just got its back bit pinned on it. Because I decided to make a video before watching something on at 8 o'clock. You know, I... I don't watch a lot of TV, but certain nights seem to be everything's on that I want to watch. And tonight there's like three things in a row that I want to watch. So that's what it. That's what that one will look like. I've found the little buttons. Um, I've got some little animal buttons and things. I found those there. Never thought to bring them round with me. But I, I went in the garage. Nearly fell over, by the way, when I was in the garage. I'm very unsteady on my feet. Is it any wonder they don't let me loose on a step ladder? Anyway, that's one of them. That's the little red, black and grey one. I mean, these are great ways of using up your bits, but there's one heck of a lot of ends to stitch in. You know, that really puts me off when it's all the ends. I've got two in lilac. They're different. This one's lilac with, with grey around it. And this one is grey, no it's not grey at all, it's lilac with cream instead of the grey. So that's got them. So they're just a perfect size really for a, a little one. They, you know, I haven't made these very long. I mean if you wanted it for an adult, um, I could try making them in, you know, thicker yarn, maybe do doubled up yarn do a longer but I think more the more little girls purse aren't they really the ones that I'm doing for the ladies I haven't gone any further with them yet because as I say I need the trimmings which are up in the loft uh, I have got some fabric ready but I'm not uh, trusting myself with the sewing machine just yet and that's the one that's all green so that's what I've been doing not an awful lot. It's amazing little things like this though, they take forever to sew up and stitch up and sew the ends in. I mean, they're a great way of using up your oddments, but uh, <laughs> you get a bit boss eyed, you know, when you're like sewing all the ends in. I don't know why I can sew the ends in, I can weave them up, I can weave them down. And as soon as I finish it all off, I'm like, oh, there's a little bit of thing sticking up there. No matter how careful I sew them together, sew them up, there's always a little bit that pokes up. And yet I watch these videos of people who sew them up and they just sew it this way and then they sew it that way, then they snip it off. I've tried that. I still got an end that pokes up. <laughs> it's usually on the shoulder it pokes out. I've decided finishing things. That's why I like top down. The things that go, you know, in one piece. This one has gone in one piece at the bottom. There's no side seams to sew. The less sewing that there is, the more I like it. I'm not sure if I picked up the sleeves and went downwards. I don't remember sewing sleeves in. I think the, the less I've got to sew up, the less I've got little ends that go. They just flirt up like bits of grass, you know, like... <laughs> All over the place. Yeah. Well, I went looking on um, the Woolfest site, but the tickets are not going to be on sale until March. So I must remember to get them. I mean, I've got this sort of dread. I always want to have a ticket. I know you can pay on the door. Uh, you know, you're not, I'm not saving anything by getting a ticket beforehand. Um, because I don't think they've got any concessions, you know, for... 
oh, as older people. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't want to travel all that way up, you know, and have to sort of phone Zoe up from outside saying, help, I'm outside and I can't get in because it's full. You know, I would hate that. Because I like to leisurely make my way up, um, you know, not be a, well, I don't drive, but not be a speed demon, you know, just to get to the Wolfest, to be there in time for it to open or something like that. I'd rather make sure I've got my tickets, so if I just roll up like an hour later, I'm still going to get in. So, looking forward to it. I don't know whether anybody from the UK can manage to get there as well, but... Uh, you know, if you want to say hi to me, I'm sure you all know who I am. I probably have brown hair completely by the time <laughs> it's June. Unless I decide to think, oh, sack it all, I'll just go back to blonde. I must admit, I'm very disappointed that he's not gone grey. Very, very disappointed with it. Because I really don't suit dark hair. I know it sounds a bit daft, but I don't. I'm pale. So I sort of... As I've got older, I've grown out my hair colour because my hair colours are really dark brown. Really dark brown. So I would have thought, like, in the past, what, 15 years or so that I've been going blonde, that something would have happened to my natural colour. <laughs> that it would have gone grey or something. Perhaps it's because I've had it covered up with dye. Perhaps I've protected it too well. We shall see what happens, because I really don't feel like being a brunette. But then again, I don't feel like having straw for, the, for my hair for the rest of my life. So I shall see. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop on, just to chat to you all, you know. Had half an hour to spare, so I thought, why not, you know, why not pop on and say hi to everybody? Just to show that I'm not doing much. <laughs> but I'm feeling so much better. When the pain comes back, you can't believe that it will ever go away again, you know? Because, like, the last, what, two months before I had this injection, you know, I'm not one to moan because I hate watching people's videos are always moaning about their health, you know. Um, to me, I'm thinking, oh, change the record, turn it over, you know. Uh, but I was in a lot of pain <laughs> since before Christmas, really. Actually, since my birthday, really, I've been in a lot of pain. But it just feels so nice and the pain goes and you're thinking, oh, thank goodness for modern science, yeah for modern medications that make the pain go away like magic. Well, it doesn't make it go away altogether, I'm telling a lie, but the level of pain that it leaves you with is like, just like a slight backache, you know? Which, to me, is heaven. <laughs> to other people, it might be, oh my goodness, I've got backache, but to me, it's like, oh, I've got normal backache. It's fine, it's wonderful. I'm not going, every time I sit down, you know. <laughs> and I can walk into the kitchen. Well, that's if I don't fall over first. I oh, don't know what's happened to my balance lately. And I'm not drinking, <laughs> I can assure you. It's not the drink that's causing it. Um, maybe I should take a drink. Maybe it would level me up, you know. <laughs> If I have a nightly drink, you know, maybe I'd start walking in the straight line and then. But I was in the garage looking for my buttons. I'd keep all the buttons in the garage. Should have brought them. I've got them in, all in trays. I should have brought them. Let you see them, shouldn't I? But, of course, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. So, I finished the pink sweater. I you can see it on Paris there. Well, half of Paris. Still not managed to glue it together yet. Um, but she's, they, that's not got on to um, Etsy late at the moment, it's just, I've had taken the photographs but it's not gone into Etsy. I'll wait until I'm putting these bags on Etsy and the other bags when I finish them. I might put these on first and then 
put the bigger ones on when I've done those. Because I've got loads and loads and loads of lace up in, a box up in the loft. So I don't really feel like, um, you know, ordering another load of lace. It's not something that I use a lot of, really. So, I think that's what I will do. Maybe my niece will help me at the weekend. I just wish I knew where it was in the loft because then I could say, just go up the loft ladder, turn to the left, turn to the right, whatever, walk forward, you know. I don't know where it is, I can't remember. I don't think I put it up there, I think my son did. And I'm so scatterbrained, I can't even remember whether it's in a box or a bag or what the heck it's in. Anyway, I'm going to go now, so um, if I don't see you before the weekend, have a nice weekend. And uh, I'm going to try my best to finish off the bags and uh, sew the linings in everything, because these all need lining as well. Because, you know, even though the little girl's bags, everything falls through if you don't put a lining in. So that's what my next scheme will be. We'll be putting linings in those and sewing the little buttons on. Ah, what else have I done? Oh, I have ordered some. Well, it isn't really wool. It isn't, yeah, well, it is in a way. But uh, Kemp's, you know, he Kemp's sent me a um, letter, email, whatever you want to call it. And they had some, like, um, wool that's for hats and they've got, like, a little thing on the top. So I ordered um, a couple of each for... You know, my niece's children, because I didn't make them any hats, and you know what children are like with hats. Two seconds and they've lost them, you know. So, <laughs> but these were around off, and they're quite cheap, just the ball of wool, like in this little whatever. It's not a pom-pom, it's like a little animal that sits on the top. Um, I've ordered two shades of pink for my great niece, and I've ordered two darker ones for my great nephew. So I have been naughty. And I did order a couple more balls to go with all the shades of maroon that uh, Sue found. Uh, just to give it a bit of a hoof, you know. Um, although I am considering actually doing one of the other patterns. The, you know, the videos I've just talked to you about, so I'm going to put a link to in the bottom. So I might consider doing one of those for a change instead of doing all granny stitch, yeah. You know, make it look a bit different, yeah. We'll see how we go, see how we go. Or I might wait until I do the creams and the whites and whatever. I'll see what happens when I make my mind up to do it. Yeah, you know, butterfly brain, that's me. I never really have a set project in mind. I just sort of go with whatever flies into my mind, you know. I just think, oh, I'll do that, oh, I'll do that. I don't know whether you're the same or whether you plan things well in advance. I never do because sometimes when I finish something, I don't even know what I want to start, you know. I can sit there, you know, thumbing through books and different things thinking, what am I going to do next? I really don't know, you know. And yet other times I've got things lined up, you know, I think I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that. But some days I just completely run out of ideas and when I lose my crow Joe then that's it I have to wait until the inspiration strikes me again <laughs> you know looking on Pinterest and things like that looking at Jen Chani, looking at um, the bohemian sites that I follow on Facebook I'm just such a Stevie Nicks type person <laughs> you wouldn't think so with the way I dress but I have to bear in mind that I've got to go out in public and they may not like me wearing all the frills and the lace and the folder rolls and whatever you got, which I would love to wear the whole time. Yeah, except I don't like ironing, so that's the problem. All these like tiered skirts and that with ribbons and lace and everything on them all need a lot of ironing. Right, well, thank you all for watching and thank you to my new subscribers. Hi everybody, hope you're enjoying everything and thank you very much 
to, I will not say, like Sue said, my oldest. <laughs> my regulars. <laughs> I'm so chuffed when I see little comments from you every week. Just to make sure, you know, you know that you're watching me. Yeah. So, I will get around to answering the comments. But I haven't been able to sit to the computer chair for long because it's not the most comfy chair in the world. So that's the only one I like to um, type comments on because I've got a big, you know, computer screen. So I don't have to put glasses on and I don't have to stare. Because, you know, the old bins are not what they used to be. <laughs> so I'm going to go now and I'm going to hopefully enjoy my weekend and I hope that you're going to enjoy your weekend too. My niece is coming, I think, to take me shopping on Saturday, which will be nice. Uh, do some food shopping. Hopefully not meet uh, anybody nasty. Well, I won't be in my scooter, so they, they won't be nasty to me. So, I'm going to go and try to avoid the news because I'm fed up with all this gun things. I'm just, you know, thankfully I live in the UK and we're mostly anti-gun over here. So I just, I'm just not in the frame of mind where people have to carry a gun. Maybe it will be different if I live in the US because that's just the norm, isn't it? People carry a gun. You know, I'd be the one who dropped it and shot everybody in the supermarket or something like that. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have put the safety catch on or something, you know. Maybe one more thing I'd have to put in my handbag. No, 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 no. I'm so glad. No, no. Never been a gun person, never. You know, there's such tragedies in this world because of guns, isn't there? So I'm just... Oh, and I can hear Trump on the television. I can hear him on the news. With that, I'm going to go. I don't know what there is about that guy. Sorry if you follow him, but I only have to see his face and I want to punch him. <laughs> Not because what he says or anything, he's just got that kind of face you want to punch. <laughs> All I can say is thank goodness he's not the Prime Minister of the UK. We may have some doolally ones over here, but at least none of them are pro gun. <laughs> right, I am going to go. So, farewell, farewell. <laughs>